Well, hello Sagittarius, welcome back to the Alyssa Illuminator. We're going to check in with you and the person on your mind. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you need any personal readings, extended readings that are not available on YouTube or spiritual oils as well as accessories and jewelry, you can find them all at theillustilluminator.com. All my services are only through my official website. All right, let's... Uh, Let's get it. What is going on with the person on your mind? What are the messages, energies, attitudes, feelings? Eight of Swords to the Emperor. This is someone that is trying to figure out how to regain control. Whether that is control over their own mind, whether that is control over you, a situation. Um, they could be quite... Oh. Okay, so this is someone that has a lot of confusion in their head. They have a lot of doubts. Um, look at this. Ace of Swords, Five of Swords to the Nine of Swords. Main... <sighs> this is almost like being so stuck in the head, being so confused that you do crazy stuff that you're going to regret later because you're trying to get some type of power, okay? Um, and I feel like this person has been leashing some things out on you or speaking some type of truth. Uh, this truth came from a place of, mm, could be out of selfishness, okay? Could be out of like trying to hurt you or trying to uh, kind of like put you to this in the same insecure situation as they have been in because it's all coming from the eight of swords kind of energy, right? So it's like this person does not know Hmm. Anyway, whatever it is, it's just creating more stress for them because it's a sabotaging energy. It's it's um it's an ego game. It's an ego play. It's also like one point they are trying to hurt you with their, with their words, then the other moment they are victimizing themselves. And it's kind of like, that's the confusion that you're picking up on. That's the confusion that you're probably also seeing within this person. As in like, are you just acting out of insecurity or are you trying to regain control and power? And all of a sudden they're trying to victimize themselves. It's like, it's, it's a little bit of like a, like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Like, this person needs to stay realistic and grounded. Okay? They want to have a happy relationship with you, but they need to eliminate and examinate or eliminate as well. First examinate and then eliminate the doubts in their head because it's disempowering them. Okay? So... Yeah, and you're you're very clear about your direction. You feel disappointed by the behavior. You feel disappointed by um, perhaps even the solution that they give to you or the truth that they've been giving to you. You feel definitely like you did not see this coming. <laughs> like that's what I'm getting. For some of you, you are also seeing that this person is doing this out of self-pity and that this needs to change and you're ready to have like a clear conversation with them. But I do see like a huge breakthrough. I do see a spiritual breakthrough within you, within your situation. How is that going to happen? Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Two of Cups. Seven of Cups reversed. And the Two of Swords. Wow. 
What is going on between the both of you here? Ten of Pentacles. Tower reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. And a Nine of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. It almost feels like you need to show this person compassion. You need to stay grounded in, in the connection here. Uh, it's as if you probably know that this person is going through some type of trauma maybe or they're going through some type of doubt that is creating this internal blockage and that creates some type of internal turmoil within them. Um, even though this has been quite hard, right? Like it's the five of cups in your energy. So yeah, like their behavior and the things that they have been saying or doing has been definitely hurting you. But at the same time, you really focus on trying to find a solution. And um, the judgment that you come up with is that you need to stay grounded. You need to keep caring and show compassion to this connection or to this person because you know that this person is... Um, a very strong emotional tie and you have what it takes to eliminate these doubts within this person so you're not taking it too personal whatever is going on with them all right or you are being asked to kind of like reflect on that and come to that conclusion or some of you may come to that conclusion through your own findings right because there is a huge change that is happening after you feeling quite hurt and disappointed about their behavior. And it, it looks like with the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords here as well, is like in order for this relationship to work, both of you need to stay grounded and um, put the focus on, on each other. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. But in the back of your mind, you may sometimes still have a doubt, like you still feel like clueless or, or feeling a little bit of doubt whether this is the real deal or not. But with the Two of Cups, emotionally, you will always be pulled towards this person. Um, yeah. Let's see what else. Let me just check in with these energies here. I mean, this has all to do with long-term commitment, with loyalty, with uh, creating stability for both your future. However, someone here, and it looks very obviously your person here on this side, feels very insecure. All right? It may have been um, coming out of a period or a past where they didn't find love or they don't know how to love or they don't know how to receive love. And because of that, they, they show signs of weakness. They show signs of um, conflict. So they, they didn't have like a stable background, perhaps, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love. Yeah, closed off, guarded, and distance or resistance. Another distance card, retreat or timeout, and growth. And to receive, yeah. This person may create a lot of blockages, a lot of upheaval, and distance themselves. And this is their way of learning how to receive love as well. Now, that could be crazy, but uh, it's a toxic way, right? Like, this is a toxic way, very toxic pattern. Why? Because they feel like they need to make some type of statement um, and they require you to kind of like come towards them and, and shower them with love just so they can feel powerful and wanted and, and needed. And that is, not, that is not good, okay? That is definitely not good. This is something that they need to grow out of.
on the Sagittarius side. Yeah, don't let this person guilt trip you is also what I'm getting. Like, stay grounded. Uh, keep on reflecting back to them. This is a very important issue to do. Like, keep on reflecting back. Uh, don't allow them to project their fears upon you because it's very easy for them to uh, trigger you and to, you know, put like a mirror up on you and say like, no, it's you. That's the narcissistic energy of the five of swords. No, it's you. No, it's you. No, 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 no. You need to have strict boundaries and keep on um, making them reflect on themselves here because with this guilt and sabotage, I do strongly see that this person has the power to sometimes um, make you feel guilty. And this is some, some type of lesson that you need to learn to not allow this person to sabotage your energy right to keep yourself strong and to come forward with your own judgment and not allow this person to project their judgments up on you and the only way to do that is to show yourself love and show yourself respect Yeah, it also feels like there has been a lot of suppressed emotions from this person. It's all up in the mind. Like the mind is like really suppressing a lot of emotions and these emotions come out in, a, uh, in an unexpected way. And it all stems from insecurity, right? Or it could be also stemming from uh, not, not having a secure foundation, not feeling independent enough, not feeling financially the freedom to do what you want what they want to do and they kind of like express these emotions in a very drastic way so there could be some dramatic or drastic way of expressing emotions that is kind of like in the middle here yeah you're sometimes in a very avoidant type of energy right like not today the two of two of swords here so there is a um, there is a part of you Sagittarius that just does not want to listen sometimes you're just like okay done with the shenanigans i don't want to hear this like stop putting the guilt upon me you know like um kind of like burying your head head in the sand because you you feel like the situation is kind of like tearing you down sometimes um yeah and sometimes avoiding it is also a, a good thing in this in this case right like it could be also a good advice Let's see what your advice is, by the way. Okay. Hmm. Uh, usually... Usually I would say like you're not the one to heal this person, right? Like you should allow everyone to heal themselves, not interfere too much. They need to grow within their situation. Nobody should mother the other person. However, in this case, you're having the three of pentacles. So you may need to really discuss together and work things out together. Perhaps a third person is required to have like an objective point of view to help both of you to kind of like come to the solution. Uh, this has all to do with some type of a past betrayal. So this person has some type of a trauma here that they keep on repeating in their headspace, which could be having to do with you or with their own past. But this is something that they are reflecting and projecting upon you. And this is something that needs to be uh, sorted out by a third person or a third company, right? Like something with that. And it looks like you are being asked to work on your own happiness, right? Like you're not here to um, keep on feeding on their happiness, but you need to put the focus on your happiness and not allow this person's attitude to take your own happiness away, right? That's what I'm seeing here. What else? Outcome, five of pentacles, eight of cups, and the queen of swords. Ooh. <sighs> someone is definitely sending someone away here, like done with the BS. <laughs> okay, like leaving the pity party behind. Now, 
doesn't have to be you sending them away. For some of you, yes, Sagittarius, you might be definitely uh, sending someone in your surrounding away. You're cutting that person off. You've emotionally cut yourself off from that person. Uh, this person may have brought you a lot of hardship or a lot of difficulties in your life. Or even worse, it's like the blind leading the blind. It's someone that is trying to drag you into their uh, own pity party. It's like they don't have a good relationship, so they are trying to ruin your relationship. Like that type of energy. It's like they have uh, an insecurity problem, so they're trying to make that insecurity problem your problem. It's like that type of energy, you're cutting that off. Like it's very clear, you're seeing it, you're, you're realizing it, you're vocalizing it. You have a logical standpoint or a point of view and you're being very objective about it and you're emotionally cutting something off. Dry. Okay. Dry. Who is this person? Knight of Wands. Very unstable. Uh, very energetic individual. Someone that is very up and down, left and right does not have like a clear goal or a clear direction yes a wanderer here we have even the three of swords at the bottom of the deck yes Saj, you're definitely cutting someone off that has been um, going back and forth trying to maybe interrupt your um, healing work uh, maybe you've been trying to create distance but this person kind of like keeps on trying to get you out of your rested energy and you're not accepting that back you know the king of source is here saying like you've been very observant with this energy and you are making a very drastic move and a drastic decision to speak up and cut this person off It does not want to come out but i did see guiding children so when it comes to okay we got the divine passion but maybe the guiding children could be about someone else here as well the one that you are being asked to uh, show compassion to and to kind of like help them heal so i do see like multiple people here and you may need to figure out and make a clear judgment about who you want to put in your energy and your compassion as well as your emotions and love in. All right, that's going to be definitely um, the key for you this week. You have divine passion coming through here. So be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Some of you have some type of goal or intention or desire and you are being asked to follow that, which... It's very usual for Sagittarius, you always do what you feel. Um, this is the energy saying, like, you're going to get a lot of energy to go after what you want. It's time to release negativity. Exactly, that's what you're doing. Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Releasing negativity. Tell someone that they need to walk away. They've been hanging on your energy and making you feel insecure. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So this has been a very difficult cycle. Maybe you had like a toxic relationship here that you had to cut off. But the time is coming and you're being asked to complete this chapter. Okay. That's what I have for you, my dear Sagittarius. I hope that this message gave you some type of clarity. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for your likes. And if you need any of my products and services, the links are in the description box below or simply at theillustluminator.com. I'll catch you soon. Take care.